Hello, uh, welcome to episode six of Anime and Us Solo. I'm TJ, and I'm Marcus. <laughs> this is the review <laughs> show that reviews anime-related shows <laughs> one episode at a time. Not really because of Marcus. <laughs> so we go. To, I need to make that a little spicy. I'm sorry. It's fine. Going back into Ruby here, episodes eleven and twelve called Jaundice. All right, so you wanted to talk about something in this one, but uh, just, is like, it later later in the episode? Ah, uh, we could talk about it whenever. Probably better later, but whenever. All right, so we open up with Cardin fighting uh, Jean, and they're t- teaching the students about energy levels. Apparently, they, they have this like phone thing that manages their aura to see how low it is. And in a tournament, when it gets down the red, they have like health bars essentially. It's just pure video game. Health bars, and when it gets on the red, to disqualify because the val the the tournament's coming up for where all the schools come here and they have a tournament, so forth, and so forth. But that's two seasons away, I think. Yes, if, Harry Potter. Yes, if I if I um heard correctly. But let's see here. So Cardin beats the crap out of John because John sucks, and the uh, Professor Goodwitch, which is just a wizard, essentially. And, and is it, sorry, is it her name like Glinda too? Glinda Goodwitch from Wizard of Oz, correct? Oh, I, I, I guess love so. This <laughs> it's like the show is like, yeah, let's take this from pop culture, take this. Well, I like that. The show is based on fairy tales. Like, is Glenn is a good witch in the fairy tale? Well, there's the the she's probably based on one of the witches from Grim Fairy Tales because the monsters are called Grim from you know Grim Brothers, Grim yes. Fairy Tales, and Ruby Rose is practically Red White Riding Hood. Oh my god! And Weiss is the Ice Princess from Fairy Tales too. <laughs> That's all went over my head. Yeah, that's all based on fairy tales. <laughs> okay, so that makes sense later on in the episode. We'll get to okay. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> wow. Anyway. I like the show a little bit more now. Okay. Yeah, after the fight, they're all at lunch. And they're talking about how, well, Nora had a dream about her and Ren killing monsters. She's lying about it. Each dream, and Ren knows about the dream, <laughs> details of the dream. Yeah, she but, says it's like they fought two Beowulfs, and, or like a mo- dozens, and he says it's just two, and so on and so forth. And she's, she keeps saying something, and Ren keeps correcting her, but it was all a dream anyway, as they go and sell furs off of somewhere like that. But that's not the point of the episode. The point of the episode is Cardin, the, the only character from his team that gets a name, but the other character, his teammates have, like, they have... They're drawn, um, they're not like shadows, which is interesting that they decided to draw them, but not give them a name. Yeah, that's very weird. But, so, Cardin's a bully, and he's bullying, he's been bullying Jean for, uh, there's been, there's a bit of a time skip from the last episode here, because they were still like in the first day, the last episode, but now they're like a couple weeks in, I think. Mm Mm-hmm. So, you know, Cardin's been, like, knocking his books out of his hands. He's Sean has his sword and shield, and the shield expands. He presses the button on the shield so he can't walk through a door. And then they have rocket propeller lockers for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, like, is that, like, a skate pod or them or something? Like, why is that a thing? I don't know, but they can be, when they put numbers in, they go to the designated areas. And Sean gets stuffed in one, and Cardin sends them outside the school somewhere. But it's just showing Cardin's a bully, and all of his friends, Juniper and Ru- Team Juniper and Team Ruby, are like, we'll beat him up if you want. And he's like, no. And he's, I'm not the only one he picks on. And so, and they show him pulling the, the ears of this girl who's a faunus with bunny ears. And yeah, he's just, just two sets of ears. Regular human ears on the side, and on top. She's got bunny ears. Long brown bunny ears. And that's what I didn't get until you just mentioned based on fairy tales. So, okay. Well, yeah, it's based on fairy tales, but there's also a species of people, and it's called faunas, and they got, like, animal traits. Like, later on, there's a guy with a monkey tail. There's, Mm -hmm. you know, each, if you got, like, an animal part attached to you somewhere, you're a faunus, essentially. So... But Cardin's picking on this girl, and then they're like, and the, all Jean's friends says, we hate this person. We hate him. We hate bullies. But yet, this is my problem with this episode. This J- Cardin is pulling this girl's ears, and they just let it happen. They don't do anything. Yeah, no, there's just, he's, he's an open bully, too. Like, he's not hiding. He's not being smart about it. He's just like, ah, you're different. Let me pull on your ears. Let me put you in a locker. Like, he's not clever. 
No, he's being vis- visibly mean, which is, says a lot more about the teachers not doing anything. But that's that's not beside the point. But these the kids are like complaining about it, and they're super strong. Just go over there and stop him, kick his ass. Yeah, you still look up to the background, do something. No, no, I'm not even talking about it. There. <laughs> I'm, I'm messing talk- with it. I know, I'm talking about like Pira or Nora, any of them. They're all super strong. They can stop her. I'm sure the girl with the bunny ears has some kind of power, right? Something. S- so why are they just dealing with these? These are so supposed to be super strong fighters, and they're not. They're just letting this bully do with everything. It makes sense with Sean because he's kind of weak and doesn't have much of anything. But anyone else, it makes no sense with. No, exactly. Especially because he's like the only bully. It seems like even his background bullies are just background bullies. They're not doing anything. They right. Might hold, they might hold someone down one time. And that's about it. Well, they hold Sean down. I uh, th- I think in a later episode, but that's not the point. Yeah, it's just do something. Yeah, it's weird. I didn't like it. I didn't like that they just did nothing. But Dude. anyway, they're supposed to be heroes. Heroes are supposed to stop that stuff, right? Yeah, no matter what, exactly. So what did you want to talk about? There was something you wanted to talk about. Well, the last frame, I'm looking at it right now. The last frame in this episode, before they cut to the credits, is the bully looking at the blonde Sean's character, or the blonde hair kid, whatever his name is. Jean. Yeah, Jean. Jean Arc. Jean Arc. He's just staring at him, like, in a weird, not in a weird way, but, like, a seductive way. Like, what's going on? Maybe it's, like, reading too far much into this, but just, is there going to be something later? Like, a love story with those two later? Is he no. that why he bullies? No, I think it's supposed to be a glare. Okay, it's just an like, animation style, I guess. Oops. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be a glare. I think it's supposed to be, I'm going to get you, Jean. Okay, because so I'm thinking, like, I'm going to get you in another way. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. Yeah, I think that's all that was. No, nah, see, I'm looking at it right now. It's just like the smile and the eyes are just. Yeah, like it's an evil, like, I'm going to, you know. It looks very lovey-dovey to me. It's just drawn weird. I'm looking at it, too. Oh, okay. Well, like, like, like I said, hey, you know what? I the audience look, watch it, and they're mine, so. <laughs> Whatever. But, so that was part one. Part one was literally just the lunch scene and the little fight in the thing. There's nothing happened in in part one at all. No. They're just setting up the bully, essentially. This is essentially part one of a four-parter for all intents and purposes. Yeah, honestly. And, but it, it's only four minutes and 51 seconds long, so... Anyway, on to part two of Jaundice. We open up in history class where we have this hyperactive teacher who likes to drink coffee a lot. He speeds around like Speedy Gonzalez or something. And I... <laughs> I thought I would hate this character, but I, I do enjoy him. He's like, yeah, he's, kind of like it. Yeah, he's he's not bad. We don't get his name, though. Yeah, I noticed that. I was kind of upset. We did, because we got Professor Port in the last one, but not this one. But he's got, like, screen, green um, spiky hair. He has half his shirt untucked and half of it tucked in. It's He's just it's a weird character. It reminds me of the character. You probably haven't seen this either. From Mad TV in the back in the old days, there was this man that used to drink coffee. He used to get really crazy. He was just... Same same thing. Glasses, a button shirt, crazy hair. I mean, I've seen a little bit of Mad TV, but I don't remember any of it. No, you're fine. But yeah, so he's in history class and he's going over some history lesson. Jean's asleep in there, and then Cardin's picking on him and gets him to mess up a question, and then the girls stick up for Jean, making Cardin look bad, so they both have to stay after class and get extra homework. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much all that happens in that part of the episode. And then after they leave class, Pira waits for Jean and they go up on the roof. And Pira's like, We're, I'm going to help you get better. And Jean's like, I, you think I need help? He's And sh- he's being a dick, honestly. Yeah, it's like, don't deny you need help. You're always acting so he, obviously. He's like, if I can't do it myself, then what's the point? I don't want to be the Danzel. They do say, I don't want to be the Danzel. He doesn't want to be the Danzel in distress. Yeah. He, which is a nice little twist on the trope. Yes. But, you know, he's, but he's every Disney princess ever. I don't want to be the dancer. I want to be the hero. So, you know, it is what it is. But he's up there, and he finally admits that he doesn't belong at Beacon because he stole transcripts and lied his way into the school. Which is makes sense, considering how he's been betrayed. Makes complete and, sense. And... It's an interest. It's interesting that you know he is trying to be something that he's not, and he's not actually failing completely, considering he has none of the training everyone else does. Yeah, for for not having any powers or anything of the sorts, he's holding his own. I mean, he's only got a sword and shield, yeah. but but they also show him as a, a tactical mind, and that's what where I think they're going with it. Yes. 
But yeah, so he's up there and he he confesses to Pira, but oh no, they're over Cardin's room and Cardin overhears the whole conversation. Because of course, we need that little extra. Well, that's this is where this is going. And Cardin says, he's not going to tell anyone. We're going to be friends, Sean. And now you have to do my homework. And that's the end of the episode. Yeah, this, it was just, it's really a setup, two setup episodes for Cardin. Yeah. I mean, it's not awful. Eh, it's a typical bully storyline, you know. You know where it's going. Yeah, yeah, he's not, doesn't, don't have, doesn't have any depth to him, so. I mean, it's, but it's interesting that Jean, um, is not supposed to be there, and it doesn't seem like he gets kicked out or anything, so. Yeah, because I, I he, he's the leader of his group, right, or no? Yes. So I feel like the, the headmaster has an idea that he's not supposed to be there, but he's still testing him, seeing if right. he can prove himself. Exactly. And so I, I like mean, that. It's it's an interesting dynamic, for sure. I mean, it seems like if you want to be at the school, the headmaster's like, okay, let's give you a try. Yeah, if you can lie, sneak through right through it, and no one yeah, else catches it. Maybe so there's it. maybe there's something to it, to you, you know? Exactly. That's what I picked up from this episode. Yeah. But... Yeah, again, short episodes, nothing really else to talk about on that one. No, nope. just bullies are bullying. Yep, so. that's that's a t-shirt, bullies are bullying. <laughs> yeah, anything else to say? Uh, no. All right, then. I guess that's it for this episode, too. That was fun. <laughs> Alrighty, <laughs> talk to you later. Bye. Bye.